What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today, shouts out to one of the top contributors uh, to my Twitch channel. Uh, just so you guys know, this is not, um, I guess it's similar to a subscriber showcase, but it's not the official subscriber showcase that's going to be happening uh, at the end of the month. Uh, so, we're going to be doing an account review today, um, you know, basically as a favor to one of the top contributors on, on um, Twitch. And we wanted to, he wanted me to kind of review his account because he put him, kind of put himself into a situation. Um, I feel like this video is going to be super <laughs> helpful, especially to those of you who have kind of went on a summoning frenzy. Uh, this is currently his island here. And as you guys can see, he has a plethora of monsters. He's basically, he told me, he said, look, man, <laughs> he's like, you know, I want to go crazy with the summoning packs. And, um, you know, and that's and that's actually good because a lot of players do. Uh, when I first started the game, you know, my first account, you know, I did the same thing. I was just like, all I needed to do because my mentality, um, you know, maybe you guys can relate to this. But my mentality was, you know, the faster I get in F5s. Or the faster I get good monsters, the better off I'm going to be in the game. And what that uh, <clears throat> what that led me to do, essentially, is overwhelm myself to the point where I had so many units um, that were usable and buildable um, that I had no idea where to start. So we're going to tackle this here by simplifying his account. And the biggest thing that I talk about, uh, you know, in this game is basically chunking or breaking something large down into small processes so the first thing that we're gonna do before we even start talking about room builds and what he should do is we're gonna clean this up so the biggest thing is if you're focused on giants right now uh, you know it's you're going to basically put all of your water monsters in storage all of your fire monsters in storage all of the other crap in storage you're just gonna focus solely on your wind monsters and obviously Bella okay the the biggest thing that you're going to need is to again figure out what you're focused on so for now we'll start with giants we'll talk about dragons here in a second and then we'll kind of narrow down some teams for you so you can kind of fine tune and focus so for giants core units for you are going to be bella uh shannon and bernard where's bernard at? i know i saw bernard in here somewhere hey, bernard. okay oh. Oh, excuse me. Those are going to be the first three units that you're going to focus on. Mainly because that's going to be the core of your team. With those units in place, you can eventually move to other units. Now, for instance, there are variations here. Like, let's say you wanted to use uh, Emissetes here, the Wind Horus, um, instead of Shannon. That's definitely an option that you have. Especially with the simple fact that Emissetti uh, attacks all enemies, decreasing their attack bar, uh, and reducing the attack speed. And he increases the defense and critical rate of all allies for two turns. So, like, if you're running him, uh, that's definitely a unit that you can look at. You can also look into units like Wuchi, who have, who have double attack bar reduction, and he has attack break on one. So, the biggest thing that I recommend, again, for your Giants team is to have attack break in your team, glancing hit, and to also have somebody who removes beneficial effects. Uh, with those three things, with our powers combined, uh, you should be able to handle, uh, you should be able to navigate Giants efficiently as long as your HP and defense stats are there. Uh, with that simplification, I mean, after Shannon Bernard Bella, I mean, or Shannon Bernard Emissetes, I mean, you could pretty much go anywhere you want in terms of wind uh, and or water units. You could throw Retesh in there, you can use Lucian. Uh, the biggest thing is just to, for you is to find which unit you're going to use for your Giants team and then go with that. Let me see if you have any other units here that would essentially be helpful. Oh, uh, if you did, if you liked uh, Olivia, you can use her instead of Shannon too. Uh, but the, again, that's going to be up to you. Uh, Tanya could be a damage dealer. You can also use the Wind Mermaid if you want. Yen is awesome. Uh, R range is just going to use for, be used for fusion. Bingo. Here we go. So uh, another unit, because this is what what I was looking for in your team was a leader, because um, you're going to need some kind of leadership skill as you move forward. And unfortunately, you didn't um, land any leaders like strong leaders except for Raviti, the Wind Hark. So this guy is a global defense lead. So he offers a chance for you to increase your defense. So for like a starter, um, Giants team composition that you want to put together 
uh, with the wind advantage, especially as you're prepping for Giant Speed 10, he could be very strong for you. So like this this unit here, um, combined with obviously your core, Shanna Benarbella or Emissetti Benarbella, um, you know, or any of the units that fulfill those requirements. Again, attack break, glancing, and beneficial effect removal. If you have those three skills in your team, however you spin them, you'll be fine. Now I recommend Bella, of course, just because she can do everything. She breaks defense, she removes beneficial effects from the enemy, and she heals and increases the attack bar. So she's going to be the most universal unit as you move forward. Now, with those four units, you basically have your lead, you have your core team that's going to set you up for TOA and for Giants and to help you move forward. Now, the biggest thing is just ruining them. Um, I, I'm sure as you've seen on my other videos, we talked about setting up your supports. Supports are uh, typically speed, HP, def, and, and you can put Raviti on a Swift set if you want them to be fast. Bella can be on Swift. Uh, Shannon, uh, obviously on Despair, and then Bernard, obviously on Swift. So most of your team is going to be Swift to give you the speed advantage as you move forward. So like a speed HP death build or a speed def HP or, you know, however you want to do that. But to get your team enough so they have over 15 to 20,000 20, HP or more, and then 800 defense or more uh, is what you're going to run essentially on your supports. For your damage dealers, I mean, you're just basically looking at your typical attack crit damage uh, attack build or attack, 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 or attack crit rate attack, uh, whichever is easier for you to acquire. Um, and you could typically run Fatal or Swift or whatever uh, you decide to go with. You have a lot of these other units like Michelle here uh, who are average that, but still kind of sound like they could be good. Uh, thanks for the follow. And, but it sounds like they still could be good but you want to make sure that um, you you kind of divert your attention away from that and focus on what's important and what's important is going to be your um, you know your primary units here like I see you got Rakaja here I uh, was a great healer but since you have Baladian uh, you definitely don't need Rakaja um, you can put them aside you can build another one later since it's relatively easy to get but now it's just like we need to start cleaning up your boxes Ramagos like all of these two star monsters that you got just kind of hanging around that have nothing to do with anything at least not for you right now uh, you can essentially feed like Tion um, if you want to keep Lucian, you can put him in storage. Darian, I'd keep for later. Uh, oh, another unit, so Lucia. So Lucia is one of those units that uh, is really, really good in PVE. So like for you know giant situations or any kind of situation where you're dealing with high HP monsters, because of the simple fact that Risky Dash he deals damage proportionate to the enemy's HP. Um, he's relatively easy to build, and since he crouches, since when he crouches, he increases defense and heals himself. He's great for self-sustain, and he also uh, has a leadership skill, which increases the HP of ally monsters by 15%. Uh, he's definitely, definitely, definitely a great unit to use if you need a leader, and you also need a unit that's going uh, to kind of take the place if you needed an HP lead to increase the staying power of your team um, and for the simple fact that he's going to deal damage to the boss no matter what his runes are because his damage is proportionate to the enemy's max HP it makes him really really easy to rune um, you basically just get a lot of HP on him, some defense, allow him to heal himself and you'll find yourself with relatively good success so that's another unit that you can look at the rest of these guys like Amin uh, Gorgo are all great units that you can just put in storage. But again, for you, if it's if you're focused on giants, the biggest thing that you're gonna do is to kind of just put all the stuff aside, put it all in storage, and just focus on your core team. By doing that, it'll allow you to uh, kind of clear your head kind of you know knock out the headache and then do what you got to do in terms of dragons dragons is going to get a little bit more complicated here mainly because you got all you got a lot of fire and water um, you know if I was going to give you a you know like a core setup the only thing that's going to change for your giants to dragons team is good you're still going to use Bella uh, you're still um, you know going to use a buffer so you'll bring like Megan in there and then somebody will change to Kona Mia. So you can keep Bernard or Bernard can switch to Kona and then Kona, Megan, and Bella and then now you have your core for your Dragons team and the rest is just filling in the blanks whether water or fire. So if you wanted to use uh, Samantha, your Water Fairy King, if you wanted to use, uh, you know, Sue as a damage dealer, if you wanted to use, um, you know, Vertihill obviously will, will be your leader. Um, because of the attack bar increase and then your secondary will be basically whoever you want if you need more heals use Atenai if you need uh, Attack bar reduction you can bring spectra in there if you need 
Um, continuous damage, you can use Beretta. If you want to just use a pure damage dealer, then you can just bring Sue, like I said. Uh, you can bring Samantha. You can bring... Mm, 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 mm. Who else we got in here? Uh, you can bring Ryan. You can bring Soha. You can bring Stella. I mean, Stella's awesome for uh, Dragon. You can bring Qua. Um, any of those units, um, you know, basically is what you're going to do. But that's just a basic format that you could focus on. So, you know, you do your Shannon Bernard Bellas, you move forward, or, or you know, in Giants, and then you switch to like Megan, you know, Bernard Bella, or you can do uh, Megan Kona Bella if you need negative effect removal if you haven't fused Vero by this point, and then Verde obviously lead because he's essentially the best leader there is for dragons and then your that that missing slot can just be filled with any type of attacker preferably water or fire and then um from there i mean you typically can go all the way through now the biggest thing is again dude you just got to focus you got to identify what units you're going to use and again what i mentioned to you was just a template you don't have to follow that template just look at the skills that are required so for dragons the skills that are required are basically beneficial effect removal uh, make sure you have somebody that breaks defense somebody that heals um, and then somebody who removes negative effects i mean those things are pretty much paramount to dragons and again as long as you're able to uh, fulfill those skill requirements you can pretty much use any unit you want as long as you have, you know, your element, the element playing field is even or you have the advantage. And those are the two biggest things that you want to focus on. I'm not going to tie too much into like uh, Necro and Raid and all that stuff because you have a lot of stuff that you got to focus on right now. First things first, figure out your Giants team, put everything else in storage. After you got all that done, you're in Giants 10, you're running Giants 10, then it's time to start taking a look at your Dragons team because um, by then you'll have adequate runes to do what you have to do. Um, and then from, from there, um, then you can start looking at other stuff. But for now, Giants and Giants 10, automatic Giants 10, sub 3 minutes. And then from there, move to dragons, dragons, and then dragons move forward. Okay, TOA is going to come somewhere in between there, uh, you know, with all kinds of different stuff as you're working on giants. But for right now, the biggest thing that you have to do again, dude, is you just got to you just got to fine tune and focus and put all the other distractions aside. So that's something to look at. You have a lot of units, so I would just look at again, get your core units done, and then figure out who your leader is going to be, whether it's going to be Raviti or like the Light War Bear or something like that. And then your secondary unit pretty much is up to you. I mean, you got a lot of units you can use: one Mammoth, one Pirate Captain, RA, Mermaid, Yen. You know, whoever it is, but find a unit that you like personally that you know that you'll give a lot of love to. Uh, again, uh, core requirements for Giants, at least 15 to 20k HP on your team. Um, 800 defense or more. And then, of course, on your attackers, you want to get as much defense, you know, obviously HP as you can. But you still want them dealing damage. So you can uh, definitely, you know, attack for damage attack or attack, attack, attack or attack crit rate attack. Whichever one works best for you. Um, and then just kind of go from there, man. But... That's it, dude, for your account. I just I don't want to overload you, so I don't want to give you like too much stuff to work on. But that's your 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 basic thing that you need to focus on right now uh, is to do that, dude, and you will be all good. So that's all I want to cover today. Uh, shouts out to Anokius again, man. Thank you for all of your continued support uh, to the Twitch channel, man, and uh, appreciate you, man. So. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, man, definitely drop me a comment. Drop in the Twitch if you have any questions. If you're confused about anything, I'd be glad to help you, man. And uh, to everyone else, hopefully this helped you guys, especially if you guys are having issues with having a lot of summons, uh, you know, all over the place. And, you know, so we can kind of batten down the hatches and focus and move forward and become better. But, again, guys, I love all of you guys. Thank you again for this tremendous opportunity that you guys have provided to me. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.